Okay, we're back with seven. Um, I already had this little tag glued together, so I just inked it up, and now I'm just going to tie a little piece of uh, twine. And again, I got this twine at the dollar store, and it's waxed, so it works great for stuff like this, because when you tie it, it the, the tie won't slip. And I, I just kind of like that little doohickey there. Oh, I better put that in the water. Okay, now I had this thing in my head that I wanted to do a bunch of layering. Now, I printed out a ton of Etsy downloads. I purchased a lot. Um, maybe I had one. Actually, this one. I quite like that one. It's already printed. And I kind of want to do a little... A pocket but I'm not certain I have well I have a little scrap here from the page I cut off so I'm thinking I want to do some sort of a, a layered look plus I have some uh, let me just grab some. Oh, I have some really pretty. Look at these ones. I have to show you these. These are so pretty. Okay, my hands are so cold. They don't want to do anything. Okay. Aren't those pretty? Love it. I think that's from uh, Christy Art Design. She's at the bottom. See the bottom there? And that's Etsy. But that's too big for what I want. I have printed some small, small ones, if I can find what I did with them. Oh, I know. Duh. They're not even in there. Uh, let's get my rolling cart over here. Here we go. I printed a bunch on photo paper. When you do that, it automatically shrinks down your image. And I love these little birds. They're just so stinking cute. There's a sheet of them, and they just turned out so cute. And I think that's what I want to put on there. It's a little birdie. Which one do I want? I want the color to pop out a little bit more. And I'm thinking maybe this one. Put my cutting skills to the test again. I think part of it is that I'm trying to go fast and I'm not a fast crafter. Gee, can you tell? Episode 7. <laughs> but I, you know, crafting to me shouldn't be fast because I don't do it to sell it, so I don't need to rush myself. Okay, that is so cute. But I do want to um, ink that, and I am going to use my archival for that. Just to get rid of the white edge there. Super cute. Okay. I definitely want to do that, but let me just check my other box because I think I might. You should see the mess I've got, you guys. <laughs> I wonder how I get anything done. Um, Nope, I guess I don't have anything in that one. Maybe I do in this one. I know I have circles, but... Oh, that's cute. Wrong shape, but it's cute. Oh, I like that. I don't think a circle works for me. I don't, I don't. What else have I got here? I've got this adorable little... Isn't that cute? I don't have this punch, but somebody sent this to me. That's sweet. 
That's cute. Let's do that. All right. So, um, not sure I want to put that there. I do want to do that. Where is my, I don't know, I have it in my head. Some, oh, you know what? I do have ones I don't actually want to use. So I think I'll cut these. Oh, hang on. I have a single. That, that's so pretty on its own, so maybe I'll do that on another page, but, yeah. Sorry, I, I, my brain, it's not, um, like I said, I can't, uh, sometimes I can't walk and talk at the same time. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to use that. Maybe I'll just use this. <laughs> Shall we come back to this page? <laughs> Hang on, let's see what I've got going on. Further up. Okay, this one I do know what I'm doing. Okay, so I cut I used one of the postcards and I cut out the doily you know, not all the way, obviously. And I was just going to hang it like that. And then I thought, nope. Of course I did. Um, I wanted to add that. But I also want to add some cotton along the top. So I'm going to stick this down first. And I want the holes showing on the doily, so I don't want to overlap those. I think I just want it, um, just the length of the doily itself. So I'll go ahead and add some glue there. the wrong side I think no that's the right side <coughs> excuse me okay Get that nice and stuck on there
And I just want to check to see what else, if there's another question. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, somebody asked me about the kit itself, whether it came as a 5x7 or if I did it that way. I believe some of the pages I altered in um, that, I think it's PZAP or something like that, where you can, it, it's free and you can um, collage. And all I did was I, I just took the basic collage, you know, one on, well, two on a page. I believe I did that for the uh, the single sheets, the bonus sheets. And I think the rest is a 5 by 7 but I'm not 100%. I'd have to look it up. Okay. Yeah, that looks kind of cute. So, I wanted to put it on this page. So I'm going to mm, about a half an inch. Now I was only going to do a half an hour with you guys today and then go have some lunch, but once I'm in the groove, boy, I find it hard to put things down. So you can see it. Well, that turned out kind of cute. Then there's still, I can't believe how much um, writing room I have in this, but I have a lot. So I'm not too worried about covering some of these uh, lined papers up. Okay, so that's the envelope that's going in the center. Uh, this I was going to do the belly band. So I had a scrap piece that I cut to almost the width of the page, not quite. And I wanted to put some color under the lace so it wasn't just lace. Plus I want to use up my scraps if I can. So I want to put this across here and I think, I, I think it's going to go lower than center because I really like the balance on this page. And it'll um, emphasize the moth that's there. And then this hangs a little bit below the um, paper. I'm going to glue the lace to the paper first. So just a little bit along the edge and then just across the top. And these are pretty sheer um, lace pieces, so they don't take a lot of glue. You don't need to soak them in glue. I'm going to do it on my craft mat though. Oh, that was another question I had, this brown thing that I work on. Um, craft mat. Craft mats are awesome because they are Teflon coated you can use a baking sheet. It's the same thing. And sometimes you can get them cheaper and bigger. This is a, a Tim Holtz, so a Ranger's product. It's not big enough. That's why I have the tape, because I actually have two. Um, an old one underneath, but I didn't want to take it up. I wanted to uh, just tape the other one over top of it, set so a larger working area. So they're, because they're Teflon coated, Anything that you put on here, whether it's paint or glue or sprays, it all wipes up. It all washes off. And it also withstands really high temperatures. So if you're embossing, you can actually, you know, put your paper down and, and do your heat right here. It won't damage your work area or the mat itself. The mat won't melt. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do also, just for double the strength, is just dot it in a couple of spots so that it's stuck to the paper on the bottom as well. 
just a couple spots. And then I'm going to go maybe a quarter of an inch on the end with some glue. Same on both sides. I have a whole bunch more comments um, that I don't think I've read yet, so I know I had more questions, but of course I don't remember what they were. Well, that, I think that's pretty. This adds a, dresses it up, and then it gives me another opportunity to put um, a journaling spot in there. Okay, and then what do I have next? What's my time? 15 minutes, we're good. Uh, what was I going to do with this? Oh, yes. I had this one printed out, and I did print on the other side of it, but I don't really want to um, make it another tuck. So I'm thinking I might make it a flip. It's actually the same. Um, oh, poopy. I keep dropping things. I think I'm going to sneeze. Yep. Excuse me. Um, it's the same flower as that one. So I was thinking of... attaching it on the side and you can open it this way but if I score it then you can flip it this way as well. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I want to corner round. Uh, it's also crooked. <laughs> uh, like mostly everything I do. So I'm going to corner round this. And then take my scoreboard, which I bury. Okay, so it's going to be placed on the page like that. So this side is where I want to score it. And I'm going to do about a quarter of an inch. Right about here. Oh, that's not even close to a quarter of an inch. But that's enough, I think. I think that's enough to stick it to the page. Okay. And. Oh, I scored two lines. Okay, now. I can't do this upside down, you guys. I'm just not that talented. Okay. Is it upside down again now? Or is that the right side up? That's the right side up. Okay. Yes, I wanted it this way. Fold out this way, but also that. That's it. That's what I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to bend the score line this way. like so. But when I put it on the page, it will be flat like that and then fold out like that. Okay, so let's ink this up first before I do something silly like putting it on the page without inking it. are just so awesome for sticking with me through this whole thing. It's been fun um, reading all the comments. And... Yeah, I think you guys have all figured out I'm a little bit wacky.
okie dokie. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, I'm going to put the glue Decide where I want it. Boy, my hands are freezing cold. Okay. I want it there. So if you're doing something like this, um, the only thing I can say is, you know, try not to get too close to your middle because when you go to close your book with all the extra pages, it's going to, you know, bunch it up. <clears throat> okay, so that's that one. So, oh, jeepers. <laughs> okay, where's that from? Oh, maybe there. Um, yeah, so there you go. You've got journaling space there, but it will flip this way. So you can actually put a photo on that side and then journal here. Good way to use up scraps, you know, ends of papers and stuff. I have a lot of little journaling things, so, you know, I figured you use them up that way as well. Okay. Okay, so I have another pocket that's going here. I liked the way that looked. Here, I'll show you. So, it would come down to about there, but it kind of looks like that's the tag. That's kind of neat. So, I'll put that on. What else have I got? Oh, I, I'm doodling with this. I cut this in half so that I could lengthen it. And I'm thinking of, you know, maybe putting it directly across the page. Not sure yet. And I thought I would attach this on there. Haven't figured that out yet, which is, you know, something I'll work on. So you can see I added a tab to that one. This one was a journaling one that I was going to glue together, but now I'm going to create a little pocket for this little tag that I've got the twine on. So uh, probably what I'll end up doing is putting a little thumb hole here, uh, probably a quarter inch, you know, or half inch circle punch, just to get the little thumb hole for the little tag, because you can see the tag would kind of get lost in there. Uh, I'll probably put the glue up a little higher than I would normally, just um, you know, to stop it from falling all the way down and losing the tag. So that's going to go there. And okay, I, I did that one with you guys. So I think, oh, and I ended up putting the bird here. So the rest I will think about and um, when I come back for the next video I'll probably be finished and then getting ready to stitch it in. Okay? Thanks for watching you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.